What's going on, everyone? Today we are talking about liquid notes for live and also a little bit about cliff X. You're going to need both of these as well as the uh, Max for Live. Live 9 to make use of this incredible tool. Basically, uh, liquid notes for live allows you to reharmonize your clips quickly and easily. And uh, it's done through uh, this Max for Live MIDI effect that they have released that is available th for purchase. Typically, it requires you to export your MIDI clips, but using CliffX, I have a, a little workaround that saves you time if you use this template so that you don't have to drag and drop. And uh, a couple of other nice little features, I think. So, so basically, uh, the template starts, and I've created a drum beat here. And this is just my vocal channel, so these won't be included. But essentially, you've got these MIDI tracks in which you're just going to uh, drop some sort of instrument on. So uh, let me go ahead and load up some different sounds here. Okay, and now we've got our instruments loaded up on here, and obviously you've taken the time to make sure they all work together, you know, whatever. And so you can see on each one of these tracks, we have the Liquid Notes for Live track, and then for Global, we've got the uh, Global. And now using CliffX, I'm going to... Now we are ready to start creating some clips, and uh, you just create clips in the same way that you would normally do. Just something to get started with, so let's... Uh Duplicate that a little bit, just so we got eight bars. Okay. That's four, and then crop this, and then duplicate it. Great, we got eight bars of that. Now let's do some strings. that and now let's give ourselves a lead cool so now we've got a basically just a pedal tone for C minor and we want to do more with this. Um, the track is not just going to be C minor, and we're going to generate some new ideas with liquid notes for live. Cool. So now we're going to click on this liquid. We're going to highlight the actual scene we want to pull into liquid notes for live. And we're going to go to File, Get Clips. Okay, and we're getting an error, so strings is a combination. All right, so what we need to do is quantize this. All right, so essentially, all of these notes need to be playing together for liquid notes to play nicely. So let's get OK. We're just going to cancel, get clips. Cool. Now it's here. Alright, 
now that we've got the clips existing in here, we can change the notes. So let's go to the four chord instead. And let's hear that. We like that, so now we're actually going to record that into this next scene here. And that's it. You just rinse and repeat. So let's try another. Uh, we're going to use liquid. Try another idea. Where we go back and forth. Here, that's fine. Do something a little crazy right there. And so you can see the power of, of liquid notes here. You just kind of gather what that's all about. You just point and click and generate ideas, concepts that you probably, you know, would never have thought of. That's good. And let's hear that. All right. I like that, but we're going to do one more. We're going to go. This is going to turn into... The B suspended. And I know that's going to be the ticket, so let's record its output and. As you could see in the last second there, I just changed this on the fly. So one thing you could do is just let this, you know, loop run and record liquids output and just change things, at, you know, just as you go on the fly and then go back and, you know, use whatever chord progression that you like. So that's, uh, that's essentially the concept of this set here. Uh, once you install CliffX and um, Liquid Notes for Live, you're going to be ready to go on that sweet path of generative fun. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this and have a fantastic day.